Ollie Savile. Hello. Joe Loins. Yes. Just us two. Just us. Looking at Black Ops 3. If you want to know where Jacob is, then watch this week's Sandwich Shop. Yeah, watch this week's Sandwich Shop. It explains exactly where he is, what he's doing, the criminal that he is. Um, let's move this microphone a little bit in the middle so that it'll pick us all up. Uh, this is Black Ops 3 because the dude's there with yeah. his guns. I can see that. That's been the Black Ops MO. And his, and his robot armor stuff. Yeah. He's almost Halo-esque. Almost could Halo-esque. Could you say? Because he's got a suit of armor and yeah, a visor and, and a, a helmet and stuff. But that's not what my dude looks like. Because my dude's a lady. A lady. A lady. The lady. Ah. There she is. <laughs> With her bandana and cigar. Uh, the, <laughs> did the wall just pop in in the back? Did, did you did you choose? Yes, yeah, the, the wall is still drawing in the back. No, uh, she just smokes cigar. All all genders, everything, everything just smokes cigars. Okay, all the time. So you said there was customization. Uh, I can show you the customization. Let's go to the safe house, which is kind of like. So we've got the volume all the way down, but we've got the subtitles on. Uh, this cutscene has played multiple times. Just constantly, like, hey, look at what the dudes did. Yeah. Like, I'll leave it to play because I'm also recording this to <coughs> get footage for the review. But at the same time, I've seen this <laughs> so many fucking times. It's so the story this time round is there's Hendrix and Player. Okay. Your character has no name. Okay. You are Your player. player. Which kind of harks back to almost like if this wasn't like a modern Call of Duty, harks back to sort of um, the first couple Call of Duty games where there was no real character. But this yeah. one has a character at least. Like, she is a angry. She she likes to shoot things. Sure. So this is the this is the the thing. Um, this is the wardrobe. Whoa! Something is wearing up. So you can. I'll oh, so you can. You masks. They unlock as you go along. I like the look of that, but I also can like. Get, the, can we go blackout? Blackout? It looks like a Halo one, kind of. Sort of, but I just like with the face. Okay. Because yeah, but she's not protected then from headshots. Yeah, but now she's also quarantine. She looks like a Ghostbuster. Yeah, that let's go with the Ghostbuster. And then you can also change your gender on the fly. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, as we will be able to in the future. Yeah, you know, it's the future now. So the weird thing, like, going into, the, like, um... So I've never been in this menu before. Um, <laughs> so most of this is just fucking bull bullshit. So you got a big room with not much big to room, do in it. Not much to do. The so the the cool thing uh, that they've hidden from this game uh, is so this is the loadout I went with yesterday. So this isn't in like the menu for, so like um it's a survival mode like wave based okay but is it the, supposed to be like training or? sort of but the thing is is that they throw a lot of enemies at you that you will not see until later on in the game oh, okay um like big spider robots and yeah. stuff which is pretty fucking cool and also it basically controls like multiplayer where like you've got everything unlocked already, and you know you're strong. So when it comes to this customization and stuff, is it only for the campaign? Uh, so sort of in like, a way. Or can you use these in multiplayer or in zombies or? Uh, so z zombies is its own thing. Now. Right, so it's totally separate. It's totally separate. It's preset characters. There's a magician. Okay, yeah, they, they've they, they, always they, had preset characters. Yeah. They? They, had the, um, they had a bit of a backstory. Yeah, so now like, the backstory is like it's the 50s. Okay. And it's all noir. 40s, 50s, it's all noir. Oh, so stuff. they've not. So it's, it's not futuristic. 
No. That's that's odd that they've got two different settings for different games. Yeah. Uh, zombies this time around, I don't so think is, it's is particularly very good. So is it still... Has it gone back to Nazi zombies then? Or? Mm, so... I'm trying to figure out what the fuck the zombies mode is. Um, because they're also putting out the Nazi zombies stuff. Right. Um... It's this game. <coughs> this game's fucking weird. Uh, let's also just back out of here. Um, so the safe house, you can like go in with your friends, and everyone can upgrade and all that, yeah. and then you go and deploy on a mission um, together. It's sort of like whatever you you know. But I don't think the campaign this time runs very good. No, I've heard a lot of... I've just heard it flat out called boring. It, it is. That's, like, the worst thing you can... So... Oh, God, we're just resuming here. Um, so, yeah, spoilers, whatever. Um, so the bit that I'm at now is that... Uh, all So people have uh, DNI in their heads. DNI? Uh, digital neuron interface, something like ah, that. Ah, of course. Um, How did I not recognise yeah, that? Yeah, you know, uh, everyone's got one. Um, so that allows. Yep, yeah. yeah, just skipping that. No need for it. Uh, that allows people to interface with computers and, like, basically become big USB sticks. Okay. Meet USB sticks. And that, and this is how they see. This Probably. is how they see. I have no idea where I'm at, lots what of, mission I've just words. chosen. I think I've done the wrong thing again. See, this is the problem with this game. Is that the campaign is so fucking shite that I... Honestly, like... The, the, every time I've tried to resume game, it's thrown me back to the first mission. Okay. Which is shit. It's a shit mission. Yeah. It's a really bad mission. It constantly, it's like, oh, press the thing to go to, 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 like, look, I'm, I'm here. Like, I didn't finish the mission, but why, those are like the training missions, and uh, there's in darkness, provoc, uh, so let's, like, jump into this one. Uh... So there she is, with her, yep. with her um, Ghostbuster outfit and Sergeant Johnson cigar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, uh, the thing with um, the campaign now is that you have a loadout. Okay. And you can change between five loadouts or the field loadout, which is, like, um, hey, this is, like, the recommended weapon for this for this yeah. level. Uh, it's usually, like, a proper gun. And that sounds very geared towards the co-op mode. Yeah. Uh, that's probably more geared towards like, hey, your friend that's joining you isn't as good as you. He's not as high level. See? Yeah. See what I mean? Booting me straight to the safe house. <laughs> and then I have to walk all the way over here. So instead of like just saying, like, go into the mission, I have to go all the way over here. I have to do this. I have to go, right, yeah. I want, or do I want the field ops kit? Maybe. Let's just go with this one. And she walks out. But like, I don't care about the story. It makes no sense. They're expecting like, to me to understand a lot of stuff. Um, so like, uh, Hendrix has seen a lot of stuff. This guy's called Taylor. Barely introduced to him. He's the villain of the game. He, he trains you to become robot lady. Yeah. Um, and they just kind of expect you to follow along, but none of it's set up. It's not like the previous two Black Ops games where it's like, there's some setup here, you have some connection if you pr played the previous one. Yeah, I mean, it seems so, so, so distant mm. from the previous ones. I mean, I played the first one. The first Black Ops game? Yeah. Yeah. But from that there's nothing in here that you will recognize there's that's the problem is that and i was just checking something on my phone because you mentioned the characters called taylor and hendrix yeah and i'm sure i recognize the name taylor hendrix and there is a professional wrestler called taylor hendrix <laughs> and i i just knew that name rang a bell 
But, <laughs> um, so like, the thing, the biggest problem with this game is, one, it, it is, we're zooming in, we're zooming in, one, it is horrifically boring. Um, the, like, the area is still good, yeah, you know, it's, it's fun it's to do stuff. Oh, it's his eye. Really don't like eyes. It would be nice if we could not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, so. Also, I think this game looks worse than Advanced Warfare did. Okay. Like, from a graphical standpoint. Like, the yeah. areas look nice and all this, but I just think the game looks worse. Like, I, um, during... Um, cutscenes or interactions that take you out of the game, like you're no longer controlling, the frame rate drops to about 30, Ooh. and it's very noticeable. Yeah. Like, do you see that? Like, it's suddenly bumped to 60 then. Mm. It's very noticeable in a Call of Duty game. Um, like, I wouldn't mind it if they were pre rendered cutscenes and then it faded to black and stuff like that. But it's not, it's all meant to be like in game, and it's like it's struggling to stream it out. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this new so thing where we can basically just s detective vision. So, is there is that any storyline explanation behind this area? Uh, there was an You're incident. In and it's now overgrown. There was an incident in Singapore, and Taylor has done something, and now you're going to go investigate it, as okay. far as I can tell. Must have, this incident must have been a while ago. Because there's plants growing yeah. in the buildings. Uh, let's. So here you can also choose like powers. Okay. Um. So if we do this, his suit is going to be fighting against him, and he can't move. What I've noticed is as soon as you start shooting them, they automatically go, "Oh, I need to move now because I'm being shot." Also, it gives you a health bar now. Are any of these powers usable in multiplayer? Or is this just a campaign only thing? Uh, no, I think it's only in the campaign. Okay. Um, I don't believe it. So, like, obviously, like, they're not going to... Uh, no, so in the multiplayer, like, they, they have, like, variations. Right. So, like, you saw when I was playing it before we um, started recording, like, the multiplayer when I got the bow and arrow. That's that. That's that variation. Oh, okay. So it's the the classes and their and their special. Yeah, the special the specialists like so like um the the one that I was using before I got the bow and arrow, which I might just change back to because it's more useful because I never get shot off with the uh, the thing. Yeah. Um, is a uh, vision pulse which lets you see through walls. Okay. Briefly. So. Yeah. You have that advantage. Let's just mow these people down, I guess. This is our bullets. No, it's not. See what I mean? It's just like large areas, lots of stuff to shoot, but no, like, it's not fun to shoot. It's, it's fun for a bit. There's glimpses of, like, a game that's more than it actually is. Yeah, yeah, it, it just, just feel like you're just here to clear out the area. Yep, and I can really I, I would, that. I understand. And then you're dead. Also, you die really fucking quickly. Yeah. It's a Call of Duty game. And all the way back. Like, let's do this again. Because why not? It's just... There are small, teeny tiny glimpses of something more here. And that's the most disappointing thing, is that they've made a video game that isn't a Call of Duty game with the Call of Duty model. Like, the, the shooting... Uh, I should probably stand away from that. The shooting, you know, you've got all the... the, the you've got the best shooting in video games. You got the best controls in yeah. video games. 60 frames a second, never dip in, you know, it's top stuff. You know, these are well made video games. Mm -hmm. They're not especially always fun. <laughs> Shit. 
Let's maybe get into cover before I die again. Um, so, yeah, so like I just said, like the, this time around, they um, also give you a small health bar to give you some kind of indication of so, when you're going to die. So, you, so you've just called this probably the best shooting in video games. Yep. I was reading something earlier today, um, and it was an article about Fallout 4 using the Destiny kind of model oh, yeah. for shooting, uh, which called Destiny, possibly the best shooting in people video have, games. Yeah, people so, have, like, what, what's your take on that? Call of Duty or Destiny? I know you play both. It's the same company at the end of the day, isn't it? Uh, well, no, Activision. Uh, two different things. Destiny shooting is very Halo. Right. And Halo's is very good, and always has been very good. And some people might say Halo is the best of the best. Right. But Halo relies on its design. Whereas you can throw fucking call, you know, you can do Call of Duty shooting uh, wherever and whatever. Whereas, I don't know, I think, I think Call of Duty beats it. Right. It's just, shit, that's a large machine coming towards me. <laughs> Uh, the thing, the thing about Call of Duty is that it's so tight, like, it's perfect, like, there's nothing wrong with Call of Duty, like, shoot, controls. Yeah. That was... I can't guarantee, it. let's see how far back it'll send me. So... The th oh, hello. Uh, the thing about this, this game is that it's very focused on co-op. So you are constantly dying, and where it's like, oh, but the checkpoints aren't very good this time round because you're expected to have been revived. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I need this. Um, you're expected to have been revived. You're expected to have um, another person to pick you up. Or pick up the pieces that you yeah. dropped and all this, and I'm trying to, but it's very slow. Um, it keeps putting me back to the pistol every time I pull away the. So is that RPG? No, is that not part of your standard inventory? Is that no, RPG? this is something I've just picked up, like. There yeah, but go. it's usually just a two-weapon slot, isn't it? So yeah, so that. there's actually a third one now. Like, this is just oh, for this mission. Oh, okay. So, pistol, gun, boom. Small, big, uh, rat -a -tat, pew pew, boom. Okay. Uh, the thing is... is the th I don't have an issue... The I don't have an issue with sh shooting many dudes. Obviously you know? Not. No. I don't have an issue with. I've seen all this. It should. There's like it didn't even checkpoint me. I pressed resume story, expecting to be at a point that looked was really cool, and it isn't. We're now <laughs> currently in this. Like, look. Wow, what happened here? Oh, we showed it during that cutscene where Singapore exploded, sort of like Akira. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Um, missions are kind of long, is what I've noticed. I mean, the so, what I'm really getting from this is that this looks like a nice multiplayer map. Yeah. This place there's, just... There's a lot of space to run around. Yeah. There's a lot of space for... Uh, Oh, they're investigating. Taylor's possibly done something. I don't like this guy. He just swears constantly. He's constantly moody. He doesn't believe in anything. Damn you, Taylor and Hendrix. Go back to Ring of Honor. Oh, so now it's like, beep, 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 look for something, please. So you might be able to hear Joel's controller beeping. 
I found the thing. Now we're going to initiate. I don't, I don't know how that comes out on the mic. It probably comes out annoying as fuck, like that noise was. So he's going to send off a little drone. Like, they have all this, like, you know, fictional tech in place that's kind of based off what yeah. is future planned. And Problem is, it's just that I don't give a shit. Advanced Warfare was cooler. So which is... Is this further on than Advanced Warfare? Uh, so they're completely in separate. The problem with Call of Duty, the franchise as a whole, is that all the games are fucking disconnected as shit. Yeah. Like, none of them are linked in with each other, which I understand, you know. Black Ops has its story to tell. Adva uh, Advanced Warfare has its story to tell. Modern Warfare had its story to tell. You know, all this. The, the problem is, is that none of them fucking take notes from each other. They're all trying to outdo each other, which is weird. Yeah. Considering that, you know, it's like, why didn't Black Ops 3 take a, a, advice from... So, this is where we're going to be introduced to one of the first... Um. So as you can see, the big dude over there is a big dude, and he will come in and shoot you with a gun. And he's a co-op dude. He's meant to be taken down in co-op, you know? Yeah. When you've got four different people shooting him at once, he goes down relatively quick. When it's one person, you have to be on point, otherwise he's going to fucking take you down. Like, you can't take it. It's really fucking difficult. That's like four magazines to take him <laughs> down. And that's the thing, that's like the bits that are really cool. It's like, oh, wait, yeah, video games. This isn't, this is set in the future now. We can do weird shit like have big dudes that do this sort of shit and you know like advanced warfare was cool you know why because kevin spacey was in it <laughs> but it all comes back to spacey yeah like but like you've got this cool like detective vision and you know night vision is constantly is built in again and all this and you got powers I don't care. So, to you, is Call of Duty stuck in the future now? Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. That so that's like. Well, are we gonna get any more actually modern games? I hope not. Oh, okay. Oh. Watch your step. Um, I hope we don't have to go back. I'm. I'm, the, the, I'm just thinking. Where does where does Call of Duty go now? That so when I reviewed Advanced Warfare. The thing that I said was, where the fuck does Call of Duty go? Either d does it go really far ahead? Like, do we get? Are we talking like, like sci-fi levels? So this or? is pretty sci-fi. Like, well, yeah, but, uh, but well, like, I'm talking like it's plausible, like, like Halo levels. Not, I'm not maybe not Alien Invasion. Yeah, but, but that um, kind of. I would love to see that. I'd love to see Call of Duty. Take us to other planets. We so, could have, we could have, we could fight aliens. We could have Call of Duty combat. Yeah, so... Taking on aliens. I think at some point that was meant to be the plan. At some point. So, there's robots. Yeah. But they're... Going crazy. The machines are rising up against us. High five. High five? Oh, where are you? I, that's the thing I'm thinking. It's just... It needs to... It needs to advance further. But they've already gone. They've so gone far. as far as they can while staying plausible, because the thing with Call of Duty is that they can go so far, but their audience wants some sense of realism. Yeah. Which is weird, considering. Th so th either they this, go back to. These games are not realistic in the slightest because. So they either go back to mili just <coughs> you know, the military shooters, which, or they do something drastically different. Which ghosts tried to do. Like, yeah. try to do the whole, like, can we redo... Oh, so here's, like, the introduction to, like, the robot enemies. 
But these ones are a bit different though, um, like dif malfunctioning. And I think there'll be a time when eventually we'll come full circle and we'll start going back to the modern military shooters. I'd love to. I would love to at some point. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. Because we've just come out of that era. Yeah. You know. We've we've how just long do people are saying, oh, I'm sick of sci-fi. Like I like that we've come back round to sci-fi because I think Treyarch, you know, have an interesting few ideas here. Maybe like robots uprising, but they don't know what they're doing because they're just robots at the end of the day. Yeah. They're just machines. You know, they're not. There's no AI. I just, I. It's, it's like I, I, I just want to see him take a risk. Yeah. Like, like, think of Far Cry. Far Cry's taken a risk. They've gone fucking back in time. Yeah. I'm, I'm not asking for Call of Duty. Primal. Fighting with bows and arrows and sticks. No, well, like that might be fun. It's like, why, it's like, <laughs> um, it's like why World War. It's like why um, World War One games have never done particularly been interesting. Like first person shooters World War One yeah. games because you know those weapons are fucking boring. All right, so All right see ya. But yeah, I just I want something different. Yeah, and this is like as far as like I think Call of Duty is gone. I can't remember if Advanced Warfare was meant to be further, but also it's a different world. Like they these guys have robotics and stuff. Yeah, see, the way it is for me is it's just like, if I want something like this, I'm going to go to Halo. I'm yeah. not going to go to Call of Duty. But I come to Call of Duty for, to turn my brain off, have like a ridiculous story to yeah. thrown at me. Um, and this game has failed to do that so far. Like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. It's so thin on plot in the wrong way. Where it's yeah. trying to be smarter than it actually is. It's like, no, this isn't working. Like, the game still relies on, the, even though it's a co-op game, it still relies on the AI dude that you have to follow. Yeah. Like, uh, you know. Well, if this ship was here at the time of the disaster, they wouldn't have been able to send in a cleanup here. To explain plot and do things, I think someone but like and now imagine like four dudes, four people playing this, all jumping around <laughs> waiting to move. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot. There's gonna be three people on top of that corpse. There's gonna be one guy looking at him, go, saying, "I'm trying to take in the story. Stop humping yeah. it." Guys, this is very serious. It's like, mate, this is shite. So, yeah, the campaign. Like, this has been the most interesting mission because it's like... The, the, the small twist that happens, it's like, oh... Let's shoot these robots. Yeah, take that robot. Yeah. They're, they're very... What we thought robots would look like in the 80s. Yeah, they're... A very <laughs> so I have this move where very I can just generic master. You have given me life. Yeah, and then they punch you in the face and you fucking die. <sighs> What's going on here? The the checkpoints are awful. They've been they're particularly bad. Yeah. Like, I never complain about checkpoints in like in a Call of Duty game because usually they're pretty. What are you hiding up here for? Was that guy literally just hiding up here? I think so. I don't think you're supposed to know that you can go up that ladder. <laughs> like the robots are fun to fight because they explode good. But they fall to pieces, shoot them in the legs, they'll just keep running at you. Um, the, the, the odd thing, like, you know, like, so they've got the zombies mode because they always have to have the zombies mode. Yeah. It's the one thing they have to have. There's no robot survival mode. Mm. 
Like, that's in the campaign, that's that immersion thing, like, they, they, they start throwing robots and stuff at you. Yeah. But it's like, wait, why, you have these cool robots, why didn't you do this? Uh, so this Ravage Core thing is pretty cool because it'll, um, you rip it out and you throw it and it acts like an EMP grenade stunning other robots. <laughs> So in some missions they'll throw in co -op, AI co-op partners for you, but they're always robots. <laughs> and they'll just keep respawning. So they'll blow up real easy, but then they'll come back about 15 minutes later. Yeah. Well, no, it's like two sec 15 seconds later and like, hey, we're here again. <laughs> so like, look, like, oh, oh, that's real janky. Oh. And then it goes into proper cutscene. That scene looks pretty nice. It does! I just think Advanced Warfare looked better. There's something about the facial capture in Advanced Warfare. I, I do get what you mean. It seems odd just looking at the subtitles and it just saying player. Yeah. 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 It's weird. It's, it's a it's, weird it's fucking game. It's tough to get invested in a character. When there's no character the, there. Yeah. And the character is like stereotypical macho girl. Well, <laughs> I was going to say Macho Man, but it's more like Hoorah. Yeah. It's very... It's very... Uh, she's She embodies the American. Uh, so the person that we're looking for is already dead. <laughs> There's a conspiracy going on. It's a conspiracy. It's a thing. And so Hendrix's basic complaint is just the Duke doesn't trust anyone. <laughs> hey. Yeah, let's move into sixty frames a second. Woo. Oh yeah, that was that was noticeable. <laughs> it's weird. It's really weird. So this is a cool bit, you know. All your opti all the optics and all the the up. nice stuff that you I'll stand near you until the cutscene activates. Oh, he didn't get the door open. I didn't open. Oh, I spoiled it for you all before the subtitles came on. <laughs> Don't worry, Joel. The audio is not out of sync. So, like, this is really cool. The robot's fucking rising from the water and coming after you. Like a fucking horror movie. But water breaks robots. Well, not these future robots, and I'm already dead. Super robots. So, the weapon I took in last time was a shotgun. Uh, I didn't open it. So, what are you taking in this time? Just did, did the standard assault rifle that oh, okay. I carried around with me for the whole game. Uh, can't see shit. I'm just going to stand here and let them come to me. Okay, maybe not. I can't see shit. Huh. Oh god. Hello, robot. 
Goodbye, robot. I can't see shit <laughs> for anything. This is kind of terrifying. Like, the robots rise out of the walls like fucking Rambo. <laughs> and then they fucking come after you full force. And it's like, yeah! Yeah! But then you realise, oh, wait. I don't care. Like, why? Why? This isn't... F what's, what's the noise coming from you? Can That's just right to indi indicate that I'm on, like, maybe low health. Oh, okay. So I can't fucking move. I just, I just think this campaign is. I ain't fucking put put you back here. I don't think this campaign is very good. That it's a poor Call of Duty campaign. It's bad. I'm disappointed because they've done a good job for the last two games they've done. Like, really good job. And Advanced Warfare was so fucking good. And... So it's just not... The well, how was Black Ops 2? Black Ops... Was that Black a good o campaign? That was a campaign. It was standard, you know, traditional campaign. Like, the, 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 thing, the thing about Black Ops 2, it wasn't a great campaign. It wasn't, you know, fantastic. It, you know, nothing to write home about. Yeah. But they did stuff in it that was interesting enough. Shit. F fuck me. Yeah, that doesn't look like a lot of fun. Right, we'll give it one last go and then we'll quit out of here and I'll have to redo this all over again because... Huh, this game doesn't fucking checkpoint you. It just, like, goes and do the whole mission again. So let's actually try... I know they're in the water. I'm, I'm trying my best, but I can't fucking move. Go! Here we go. This is where I get cornered again. <laughs> Jesus! So last time I went with a shotgun, and I was first fine, I did it first try. Uh, I didn't know Can you change your load out there? Nope, you have to go all the way back. So they'll give you, like, opportunities to change loadouts and whatnot. But now I'm out. Oh, hello. Video invasion. Video invasion? Maybe. Jake has broken out of his cell. Yeah. You guys, and you left me to die. And, and, and he's joined us mid-video. <laughs> yeah. Even he doesn't know where he's been. No. That's confidential to that's us. Co that's confidential to us. We know where you've been. I was in a dark hole and I've just found my way back through some fields and <laughs> and whatever. How was Florida? Is that where I was? Apparently. Uh, uh, at one that's, point. that's what the voice in my head told me. Oh, right, yeah. We're yeah. doing a really bad bit in video games. A really bad bit in video games? Yeah. This is not very fun. Is this Call of Duty? It's Call of Duty, but it's not very good. Right. I'll take a seat. <laughs> Get a seat. Settle down. So how is it? It's a bit it's shit. <laughs> is it? It's really bad. Oh. Well, just the game in general? D no, the, it's a weird... This bit. This, this bit in general is really shit, but I've the campaign heard, is a bit bad. I've heard it's kooky. The, I know I, I, it's got robots. It's got robots. A lot yeah. of robots. I couldn't tell. I oh, I'm no. being. I'm, oh. Yeah. This has happened a few times. I get cornered and I can't turn around fast enough. And this is after I've just said to Ollie that I think Call of Duty is maybe one of the tightest controlling games <laughs> of all time. <laughs> um, way, to, way to show Joel up, Call of Duty. <laughs> but this is because I've come in with an assault rifle and it wants me to be in with a shotgun. Oh. And I can't go back without restarting the whole mission. Look at this shit. Look at this shit! This is really bad! This is horrific! How long have we been doing this for? Too long. Right. <laughs> One last go, and then we're going to back out and just check out the multiplayer, because at least that's actually good. Happy days. So is this far in? Well, it's a few missions think? in. Yeah. It gives you all the entire mission list to look at, like... Right, you're right. about halfway through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing is, is like I'm not reloading fast enough to deal with all these. Oh, they just come out of nowhere. So look at this shit. Come out of the water. But they're robots. Surely they get. That's they what don't I like said. Water. But they're future robots. Oh yeah, amphibious robots. 
They've got gills and... They're even broken. Have one of these. <laughs> you hit something. Hit something, there's a hit marker <laughs> there. Are they all gone? What? So, so what we were discussing before you joined us, Jacob, yeah, oh, there is, we go. is where does Call of Duty go from here? Because it's gone so Ooh. far into the future. Yeah. Is it going to come back around, or are, and are we going to get more military shooters? or Time like, travel. Like modern military shooters? Well, we said, are we going to go into space and shoot aliens? No, nah, maybe not aliens. I could see something like this, maybe robots and stuff, but I could easily see it being like on the moon or something. Yeah, I would like, to, like Call of Duty on the moon. Yeah. That's yeah. If we're talking space, then that's probably what we're gonna get. On Mars. We could go to Mars. Yeah, Mars, sure. Alright, let's change to the field ops kit. No, I don't think they want to go too far away from reality. So we I don't could, think we they could want go on a space station. Alien bums. Uh What if I dunno. I really don't know what you do with Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. Just, kill, just keep bringing it out. <laughs> Shoot dudes. Yeah. I mean, that's... So the game will give you, like, stats of how many dudes you've shot at, by, at the end of each mission. Hmm. I've shot a lot of dudes. <laughs> dude I think shooter. One, I think one mission said I shot over 200 people. <laughs> Holy crap. We, we, could, we could get Call of Duty jumping on the Fallout train. We could get post-apocalyptic Call of Duty. Maybe. We could have... Shooting in a wasteland. A bit like Mad Max, sort of thing. Yeah. Because you could tie that into a campaign. You could have them blow the world up, and then yeah. you've got. You could. See, we 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 brainstorming ideas for him. Just hire us. More thought than goes into it. Yeah. Like that, that could be fun. Oh, Pixel shed. You could call of Duty. You could still have the modern weapons. We could get some cool maps out of that. Yeah. <coughs> so this is the bit that I got up to yesterday that I was going to show off. Oh, this is um, what we've been leading up to. This is what we've been leading up to. So we thought we'd be starting at. Yeah. That's but gotta be Kane. We have to Kane's a lady. It's Kane. Rachel Kane. Yeah, no well, idea we, we had the early re realizations that the main villain is called Taylor. Oh, all, yeah. And the man with you is called Hendrix. And I knew the name Taylor <laughs> Hendrix from Taylor somewhere. And yeah. And then I realized where. Yeah. Nice lady from Ring of Honor. Yeah. You can ravage, is that what, when you whack the thing into it? Uh, so core. I, hang on, let's see if we can ravage this guy's core. Yeah. So we throw the thing, so the noise you're hearing at the minute, Jacob, is the controller, yeah. is the controller breaking. <laughs> is uh, me on low health. It will now tell me when I'm on low health. Oh, okay. But it's not like the heartbeat, like, oh, 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 oh. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's an annoying it's beep. <laughs> yeah, and that. So I need to shoot things when like they Zelda. pop up. Fuck, this game uses so many irritating sound effects. There's one that sounds like an alarm clock whenever you get into a multiplayer game. It's 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 it's, it's just like the Pokemon low health noise. Oh, yeah. Why is that a thing, guys? Get out of your games. So, do you want me to like tell you what's happened? Ooh, that's a big gun. That's a big gun. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so some guy called Diaz has taken control of all the rubits. Mm. Oh, damn it, Diaz. Why'd you have to do that? Mm. Um, with his mind, he's linked himself in to the computer. Because oh. everyone's a USB stick. Yeah. And all the operatives, everything, all the information in the world is now leaking through these people who are just basically saying it out loud. Yeah. Because they have it in their brains. Mm. Uh, the shot of those three robots in front of that big shiny whatever it is. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. That looked a lot like it, Terminator sort of stuff. Yep, it'd be a lot cooler if this game had a story that I cared about. <laughs> and not just, hey, you're going to shoot these guys? Alright. Good luck. Who, who do you play as? Player. Player. <laughs> oh. The character <laughs> literally <laughs> has no name. The subtitles genuinely come up they as say player. player. Wow. That's so you can put yourself in the game, right? Joel's but the cu customization is dog shite. <laughs> Joel's a girl. Oh, nice. He, he could have also been Trying a boy. 
can play as a boy, you can be where you want. And then he could have had a bandana or not a bandana. <laughs> so I chose a bandana because it looks like the boss from uh, Metal Gear. Uh, ooh. ooh, what's happening there? Don't know. Emergency sir, reserve expended. I'm reviving. It's a good job no one can get you there. Fuck knows what that was because <laughs> that's never. That would have been nice a few minutes ago. Uh, I was as confused as you were, apparently. Yeah, so I've said this multiple times to like Ollie now is like this game, it doesn't explain shit. Uh. It's not in relation to any of the Black Ops games. Hmm. I still have no clue what you're doing. Literally just did I'm destroying this dude you're because he's taking and then, control and then of you're, stuff. You're throwing something at Putting something. Boom. Yeah, because he's in there. All plugged in. He's oh, charming. that's where he is. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, can yeah, you look. see him in there? It's big. It's, I, it's I realise that now. Yeah. She's working on Tower he's, 3. He's put a plug up his bum. He's, he's getting he's, all the information. It, it, he had to turn himself the other way. <laughs> turn where am I going? There? Sideways. And shove it straight up. You candy ass. Why, why am I going up there? Oh, defend. Get it off. Me. This does seem rather mindless, I'm gonna say. What? What? Oh, they're there! On Shit! The glass. Oh, um, I know what I'm doing now. The nice shoot more dudes! Shoot the dudes! Why didn't we think of that before? <laughs> Here, let me shoot you as well. I just like shooting the robots because I, I, I like games that have robots to shoot. They fall to bits. They fall to bits. There's not been a good robot shooting game since um, Binary Domain. Huh, that's a you know what? niche example. The Prometheans are kind of robots. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but they don't fall apart as good. But, they they um, just kind of disintegrate. I haven't played any of the games, but I know Deus Ex has a lot of robot bits. They're not robots, Jacob. They're Synthetics. augmented humans. What the fuck are they? They're, they're augmented, and you know what? Robots is a racist term, <laughs> probably, in that universe. Fucking techies. Jesus. I'm just going to run over here. <laughs> Get ravaged. Let's go do this. The, so the cutscenes run at half rate. the frame yeah. rate. <laughs> you can instantly notice. It's awful. It's awful. Is it... Is it understandable? Hey! Oh. <laughs> These ones run at 60. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Someone, I don't know why we've done that. Someone could... pulled out the wrong Jenga block. Oh, dear. Deary, deary me. Is that you? Mm-hmm. Is that Adam Levine? <laughs> He's... He's, he's, the, he's the grizzled veteran. Yeah. Looks a bit like Kevin Peterson. I'm sorry. He's gonna die anyway, he's crushed. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a whole lot more up his butt now. The, 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 what, what, so what's Ollie, the I've no fucking idea. Is, is, it, is it heaven? Well, it's heaven for robots. Maybe. maybe. Wait, Kane's a girl? Yeah. Kane! Kane! Your sister Kane is coming! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. How the hell did he get transferred? That was you. That was player. That's player. Kane? No. Oh, Kane's on the headset. Yeah. yeah. Oh. She's a lady on the headset. Uh, I'm player. This looks a lot nicer. It's a lady. We already fought our way through here. Yeah. The mission's long. How long have we been recording? Yeah. 49 minutes. Yeah. She that was really long. Like <laughs> she's made of plastic. Are her eyes supposed to look a little creepy? Now. They just look too blue. <laughs> Reminds me of the elusive man. That's a Mass Effect thing. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. 
It took me a few seconds, but he's got he's got funky blue eyes. Oh god! It's still going. Still mission. The place is blowing up. Let's run as fast Gotta as we can. <coughs> Let me slide up these stairs. Planet Zebes is gonna blow up. Excuse me. The ship from COD 4 is gonna blow up. Oh, that was a good mission. There's well, nothing. That's the places you have to escape from while they're blowing up. Uh, I'm not sure. Excuse me! There's like two of these Coming missions through. in Metro 5. Seems like a bad example because I already used a Metro game, but they did the same in Metro Prime as well. Yeah, I was gonna say there's. there's Frigga like, Orpheon's blowing up! It's, it's like, oh, get out of this station mining facility because mm. the Guardian's blowing it up. Oh. Get out of there. Do the two. Thing. Oh. oh no! Oh, no. You know, messed up, player. Are you crazy? Ho ho, ho ho, joking time. Banter. Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> I haven't been told off for shooting my own dude yet. Yeah. Really? In fact, we hadn't realised. In fact, you can't shoot your own dude. Aww. <laughs> But you can shoot right next to him and spook him a bit. <laughs> what was that? You have special powers. Oh, cool. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh. Guess it didn't do very much. Now we have to watch that all over again. <laughs> him walking up to the door being like, yep, yeah, it's definitely broken. Oh, is he gonna come back and haunt her if he dies? Oh, he is. I, I, I think he is, yeah. Ooh. I have one of these. I don't know what that is, but I have one. <laughs> I picked this up, so I'm going to throw it at you. Cover him, where are you? Oh, there you are. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? <laughs> just cover him. Future technology. Oh, robots. These are just Terminators. Terminators. This would be a lot cooler if it was Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me reload my gun. Money making. Call of Duty. Buy the Terminator license. <laughs> You'll play I think it. Activision owned Terminator license. Call of Duty Terminator. That yeah, was the last Terminator game that even came out. We'll oh, it. Terminator Salvation. Oh. By Bethesda. Oh. oh. Ooh. Published by Bethesda at least. Ooh. You know, I don't know anything about the game, but just the name alone. It was a classic. Yeah, doesn't bode well. It's jammed, just pull it open. Now you gotta swim. Sploosh. Be careful though, or where are we going? Oh, you, you have an will, oxygen meter. You'll drown. Everyone loves an auto underwater mission. Yeah. Underwater robots. Oh god, okay, here we are. How are you talking? <laughs> Blew the door open. What happened to it? At least. You're just not going to address this? Hello? <laughs> How did he talk to you underwater? Oh, because they can communicate within their brains. Oh, within their brains. <laughs> they have things in their brains. Is, it, is the current just conveniently taking Whee! you the right way? Yep. It's, it's just like, oh, you have any questions? Here's the answer. <coughs> it's the future. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I thought you literally got hurt the current by hitting literally the pipe. blew you through every door to exactly where you needed to be. You're gonna make it. You got loads of oxygen. I'm the best at oxygen. Is that cause future as well? Yeah. Um, Grab it. They they even specifically tell you like yeah you can still drown. Yeah. But you're all right. Shoot the things. Whoa. All right. That was pretty successful. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That would be cool if you could have done that to the robots out of the beam. The, the water's on fire. Right. Also because future. <laughs> this is future water. It's flammable. So why is Diaz oh, a dickhead? Diaz. 
Oh, I don't know. Why did because you do they that? needed a villain, so the three people you're introduced to at the start who are like good guys and train you mm. to become robot lady in your brain, so mm. it's all a simulation. Uh, One of them and then there's a time skip or something. I don't know. And then the ter and then they were terror and now they're terrorists. What the three people? Yeah. Oh, the baddies. The <laughs> baddies. Huh. Maybe you were trained to be a baddie. Fuck knows. I don't care. I just think this is really bad. It's a really, really bad campaign. Like, think it's yeah, it's you hitting were high on the last COD game, weren't you? Yeah, it's it's hitting all the checkpoints, like all the good points that you want mm. from a Call of Duty game. You know, explosions, set and pieces, guns, yeah, and so, explosions, and yeah, and guns. <laughs> so here's something. Rewards. Rewards. You get things. Yeah, the dingo. I got a fabrication kit. You got a dingo. 139 people died. <laughs> or robots got blown robots, up. Robots, yeah. So I'm level 9 for the campaign. This isn't it's not for discussion. No. So now we're in a different one. Whoa! It's not our this is just like a hub? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So there's different things in the hub. We is showed this been, off a little bit before. I say, has that been in COD before? Huh? No. no. Yeah. Ooh. Usually, I don't like this though. You can do dress up. Immortal. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Warframe. <coughs> Damn. You know what mod bodies did we get? We got an immortal body. I like that. Let's go with Pretty that. Pretty cool. I like your Ghostbusters one. Though. I like the Ghostbusters <laughs> one, but we're done with Ghostbusters. Yeah, so that's the campaign. Let's. Uh, it looks. Yeah. Tune in for part two where we'll look at the multiplayer stuff.